up? So I hope you guys are into Dollar Tree DIYs. For this wall decor, I was just in the Dollar Tree, was shopping for house cleaning things and seating items and thought maybe I could make something really nice since I was on the hunt for some new wall decor. So if you're interested in getting this wall art, stay tuned for the video. What's up, Divas and Divas? It's your girl, April, and Mumsy. And we are back to do a Dollar Store haul. Dollar Tree haul. Yeah, same, same thing. thing. By brick, I'll pull your heartstrings brick by brick. Make you love me. Hey, girl, let me build you up. Play an optimist, let me fill you up. Hey, girl, this is definitely love. Girl, let me build you up Play an optimist, let me fill your cup Hey girl, this is definitely love Brick by brick Hey guys, so for today's video, this is going to be a Dollar Tree DIY. So as you guys know, I have been doing my house over. So this portion of the video is in my kitchen and I'm recording it with my phone. So please excuse the quality if it's not as crisp and clear as my camera. Um, but you're going to need some supplies from the Dollar Tree and two from wherever else you can get them from. From the Dollar Tree, you're going to use these willow wreath. Um, florals and you'll find this in the craft section. I have 12 of these in the bigger size. This is the biggest size that they have. So you're going to need 12 of these are depending on how big you want the wall art to be. I want to use 12 of them and I'm also going to be using nine of the smaller ones. I'm going to be using nine of the smaller ones. And these are also, you're also going to be needing some floral wrap or floral wire. I decided to get the color in gold because floral wire is six feet. So, you know, just to be on the safe side, I did pick up four of them because I hate to have to go back. But I'm pretty sure I probably won't need all of this. But, you know, I'm just going to be on the safe side. Needing some um, spray paint. So because of the color of my dining room and living room, I decided to go with the Rust-Oleum Metallic Spray Paint in the color gold. And this is the shiny metallic finish in the color gold and silver. Really, really pretty colors. I already actually used this in an item I had for like 10 years that I repurposed. And I'll show you a video on that really soon of how I recreated it. But just to make sure that the colors really, really do pop, of course you can just spray it on the wood and it will come out. But if you want the colors to really pop and adhere to the wood, I would definitely suggest using some of the um, Rust-Oleum Painters Touch 2 Times Ultra co Cover Ultra Primer in White. Let's get into this video. All right, you guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to group four of these wooden circles together, and I want them as close as possible because I'm going to take that floral wrap that you did see here, and I'm going to entwine them really, really tight, really, really tight, excuse me. So you just want to go ahead and go underneath them and just wrap it around as tight as possible, and then you want to take some kind of wire cutters or you can just keep wrapping it until the wire pops. But if you have some wire cutters, you can get some from the Dollar Tree. I had mine for a while. These are actually like jewelry cutters. So if you have some jewelry cutters or some wire cutters, you want to go ahead and just cut the wire of that. But you want to make sure that you entwine them really, really tight. So this avoids any type of glue or anything. So as you guys can see here, I have almost four of them together. And I'm just going to use the first row of the floral wrap. And as I stated, I did get four floor wrap wires and they do come in a of color. I went ahead and used the gold ones. And as you can see, they're really, really stiff. They're really tight together. And you want to just do this with all of the circles depending on your layout. So now I'm going on to the next row of circles. And for this particular set, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the ones on the top and I'm going to interlude them in the wires with the first set that I did. And you still want to make sure that you interlude them together as well so that everything is really, really sturdy. And I'm just going to twist the wires to make sure it's really tight. And I'm just going to do the tops and the bottoms and the sides for each set of rings.
Now, as you can see here, I'm going ahead and I am interlocking the wires onto the sides. And now I'm almost done. This is the third row of wires, or excuse me, third row of circles. And you want to just keep repeating that step. Alright guys, so this is what it looks like. This is the back portion because this is where the knots are. Now we're going to work on the front circles. Now these are the smaller circles as you can see and I'm just going to repeat those same steps. Of course I don't have as many circles as the larger ones because I'm going for a certain design. But you want to just repeat the same exact steps as you see. So this is the smaller ones and of course the same concept. I also did use a full three of these floral wraps. Um, so good thing I did get four because they're six feet wide. They do come in green, red, purple, and gold. The next thing I'm going to do now is we're going to spray them down with the white spray paint. Now guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my spray paint. You want to make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. At first I was outside in front of my house, but it became a little bit windy. That's why you see kind of like particles kind of like floating around. So I decided to move the show into my garage, but I'm going to use the primer first and you only need to allow this to dry like 20 to 30 minutes, but I wanted to use the primer because it will allow the gold spray paint to adhere a lot better to the wood and also will allow the color to pop. So you want to go ahead and get you some primer and allow that to dry for like 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how much you use. And as you can see, it's a very bright white. Okay, you guys, we're going to do gold now because it's dry. Now, being that the white spray paint primer is already dried and adhered to the wicker or the wood, I'm now going to take my metallic shiny gold and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray that onto the top portion. Make sure that this is the top because the back portion of this wall art will have the knots of the wire where you wire them together. So you only need to do the front. You don't need to spray paint the back. And I'm also going to be doing the smaller ones in a silver color just for a little color of pop or pop of color. Okay guys, so we are done with the first portion of this video. As you guys seen, we spray painted it and such. Um, so this is how the smaller rings came out. You really don't have to spray paint the back because of course it's going to be over this. And as you can see, this is the gold. So I wanted to put a little bit extra to it and I was thinking about this when I was at the Dollar Tree. They have these at the Dollar Tree and they could be any particular color. You don't have to look for any particular color because you're going to spray paint them if you choose to. And I wanted them to be like a gold or silver. So I needed 12 of them. And this is one that I already had. This came like this. I bought this from Ross. It was not a dollar. So what I want to do is I'm going to attach all of these together just the same way that I attach the rings, the wooden rings. And then I'm going to place this and attach it to the back portion of this here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to place these all together and I'm going to use these zip ties, these nylon cable ties they're called. You can get these at a dollar the template so that I know where to place these at. I want these to, this to be a little bit bigger than this. I'm going to just lay this down and I'm going to place these over the top of them just so I have like the perfect fit. Now I'm only going to be using the wooden circles as more or less like a template. I wanted to make sure that the placemats were a little bit bigger than the actual wooden wall art. So I decided to just use the bigger circles as my template. So that way once I did connect all of the placemats together, it came out perfect, but it also kind of was a little bit bigger than the actual wooden wall art. So that is the reason why I laid the placemats on the top of the actual wooden wall art just to make sure sure that the placemats themselves will come out perfectly. Now to connect them, you can either use glue if you choose, which will take time to adhere and cur. I decided to use like the plastic, um, 
zip ties right here. It doesn't matter which ones you get. I found that later on after like a couple of struggles with the shorter black ones that the longer white ones are much better because in the end you're going to make sure to cut them really short. You want to cut off the excess plastic. So I'm just going to go ahead and switch it up in the video. Of course you won't see me do that but I'm going to be using the larger white ones and you just want to make sure that you just pull them tightly and connect them the same way that you did with the wooden ones or the wooden circles on the sides up and down so that way they stay in place and it doesn't matter which color you use but you do want to make sure that you cut the zip ties and once you have finished connecting them all you can take it outside and spray paint them the color of your choice and allow that to dry overnight or a couple hours now once while that's drying I'm going to take the smaller silver circles and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to connect them to the larger gold circles so in no particular fashion you just want to make sure that you do it neatly and you want to make sure that you are connecting them tightly I'm going to go ahead and this is the fourth floral wire wrap so it's a good thing that I did get four and I'm just going to connect it more or less in this front and I'm going to go ahead and pop it over and make sure that it's really tight to the back so I did tighten it in the middle and a little bit on the sides somewhere where it's not so noticeable when you are adhering or kind of like connecting them together so that way when you are connecting the top portion to the back you're not really seeing it as you can see I just have it in the middle right there which is gold which is fine because my wall art is gold and silver so you know I just placed it where it wasn't as noticeable but like I said it is wall art and it's gold and silver so it kind of all kind of like fell into place so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial super easy i'm going to go ahead and hang up the placemats first and then the wall art yes, guys, so this is the finished look of the wall art i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial you can actually use as many rings wreath rings as you prefer and design it however you prefer this is just the idea that i came out for the layout i kind of wanted them to kind of look grouped together and just kind of fill up this empty wall in my dining room so for the purpose of this video i did just move my sofa table onto the wall just so you guys can see how big the actual work of art is but it is actually really big um and i absolutely love it so i hope you guys enjoy it and yeah let me know